If you're just joining us, I'm Tim Barkley with Charleston Home and Design Magazine. And today's radio show is coming to you from Jilco Kitchen and Bath, located at 2300 Clements Ferry Road in the Daniel Island area. And now we're talking with Trey Strock with Strock Design and Remodel. How you doing, Trey? Tim, I'm doing awesome. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Um, Trey, tell everybody about Strock Design and Remodel. Well, we are a full-service general contracting firm. We specialize in helping people do design work for their home or their business and uh, also go right through into the construction process and the build-out. So, Gotcha. Yep. So, uh, so Strock Design and Remodel, you folks are remodeling contractors. Do you do any new construction? We do new construction when we're asked by existing clients typically and normally that will be say they want to build a uh, uh, a garage with a mother-in-law suite above it or a hobby room above it or something like that or an office that's the kind of things we'll build new gotcha yeah additions and, and we do additions of, of course yeah yeah, yeah. um what kinds of, of, of projects are is uh, Strock Design and Remodel working on these days? This uh, this year it seems like to be the year of the master suite. Hmm. Um, last year it was the year of the kitchen, and this uh -huh. year is the master suite for some reason. Huh. So people are trying to uh, get that spa, hotel experience at home, um, kind of nesting a little bit, um, some nicer fixtures, nicer finishes, a little more elbow room. Mm -hmm. um, bigger windows kind of open the outside up into the inside um, and and even sometimes you know a deck or something right off the master suite to you know go outside read a book at night have a cup of coffee before you go to bed yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, master suite you're that we're talking about a master bedroom and a master bathroom um, are you finding homeowners are, are looking to expand their their footprint with an addition to do that, or are they trying to stay within the confines of, of their home? Well, a, a lot of that depends on the specific situation and the people and where they are and what they can do and um, how their house is positioned and, and that sort of thing. Um, and we see about half and half. Most people are some people, you know, who can stay within the confines of their existing structure. Um, you know, maybe the kids are gone, it's an empty nester, and they have rooms that they can use to incorporate into a master suite. And other people don't have that option, and, you know, we might have to bump out a wall, you know, a few feet or whatnot to get the extra space. Mm -hmm. How long has uh, Strock Design and Remodel been in business? We've been um, in business for about 30 years. Mm -hmm. We've been in Charleston since... Um, well, just after Hugo, mm -hmm. uh, we came um, to help fix roofs and things like that uh, at Hugo, and we never left. They call mm -hmm. us the Huguenots. So <laughs> right. We came for Hugo and did not leave. Uh huh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, and what is it about remodeling that that uh, obviously Strock Design and Remodel? You folks specialize in remodeling, but what is it about remodeling that that uh, that you that you like? Well, that's a great question, and the simple answer is people. Mm -hmm. um, our business is a people business, and more than a construction business. Um, our business used to be more centered around new home construction. In a new home construction, um, you know, the, the homeowner is really not present, uh, except for the various walkthrough and then at the very end at the move-in mm -hmm. and if it's a spec home you know you you may never even meet the homeowner um but years ago we realized we really like the interaction of the of the people of the homeowners mm -hmm. and in 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 remodeling you are in someone's home in someone's life for it could be a week it could be a month or it could be six or eight months um, so to make that relationship work, it's, it takes a lot of um, understanding about who your client is, what their expectations are, um, what kind of burdens you're going to place on them while you're in their home or, you know, making their dreams come true or whatnot mm -hmm. with this, whatever you're doing. So 
and that's what I love. I, that's what we all love. It's that, that interaction. That's good. That's good. You love that because, um, there's a lot of, of, um, challenges that are unique to remodeling contractors. You know, there's the old phrase that, that, everybody's heard well we don't really know what's behind the wall until we get into it well, I can't really tell you blah 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 you know and and um and and there are hidden surprises that that pop up now and then right sure there are uh you know we live in a a, a wet uh humid uh warm climate and it's uh, g- uh great to breed uh termites and mm-hmm. ants and uh, mold and mildew, everything you know that um, is houses don't like, um, and and sometimes your house can seem like a, a grocery store for all this stuff, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but we've invested in some tools and technology to to help us kind of prevent some of the um, the gotchas or the unknowns, you know. We we we. Um, um, FLIR technology, which is infrared technology, we we bought one of their um, infrared guns, cameras, uh, so we can look inside of a wall. You know, if we have it, if it's suspect that there might be moisture or something wrong with it, and and can find in the wall where where that moisture might be coming from and take and take take it apart. Mm-hmm. Or if there's uh, air leaks, you know, or um, Sometimes even critters, you know, we can find a, a critter that's gotten in the house somewhere in the attic or in the wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, um, you obviously have to give homeowners an estimate and you have to sign a contract and everything like that. Um, there's there's an expectation in the homeowner's mind of how much money they're going to spend. What happens when you do run into something um, hidden, uh, unexpected? That happens from time to time, Tim, and it, it's it's really a, a, an easy process. We talk with folks about that up front, about, okay, what could happen if, you know, type of th- thing. And we, we our process is a change order, okay? And say, for instance, we're opening up a wall and we find uh, Formosan termites living inside that wall that we weren't expecting, and... Um, They've eaten, you know, s- s- some framing and whatnot, some of the wood. And we'll stop the process right then, um, kind of analyze what's going on and get with the homeowner right away and say, hey, look, this is what we found, and um, this is what we think it's going to take to make this repair, okay, take out what's damaged, replace it, and then – here's a price, here's a scope of work, um, would you like us to proceed with that? And then they can make the decision on their own whether they want to do the work or, or not. Mm-hmm. So. Gotcha. So uh, it sounds like a lot of it um, centers on communication, which goes back to why you say you, you love being a remodeling contractor is is the uh, the um, being able to, to stay in touch with the homeowners. Oh, absolutely. You know, it. Um, when, when you when you're working with someone, um, the last thing you want to do is, um, or the last thing you want is a change order, because you want the process to have been well thought out. Mm-hmm. Um, but if there is a unexpected <coughs> event that causes a change order, where there it was a leak in the wall, a roof, or insect damage, or whatnot, um, the last thing you want to do is to kind of wait until the end and surprise somebody with a extra cost that mm-hmm. they weren't expecting if you can handle that as soon as possible up front it it allows someone who's on a, a very tight budget to make other arrangements where we might have to cut something out at the end you know reduce a, another part of the scope to make it fit within a, a budget mm. now you mentioned uh, earlier that um, um, Strock design and remodel did a lot of kitchen remodels last year and um and i and i know you have a your own line of cabinetry new new cabinetry that you can sell folks but what if they have um existing cabinetry but they want just kind of a new updated look for that existing cabinetry how can strock design and remodel help homeowners with that we have we have a great product for that 
and it is growing by leaps and bounds. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful product that's called Renew. It's made by uh, Showplace Wood Products uh, right here in the United States in North Dakota, or South Dakota. Um, and we can literally transform an existing kitchen to look brand new. Hmm. Um, it's all high quality solid wood materials. It comes stained, um, it comes painted, and you can get it in any color in the Sherwin Williams palette. So there's almost no lack of creativity. Mm. We replace the doors and the drawer fronts. Um, we can replace the drawer boxes. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, you know, you get the new hardware, the latest and the greatest slow close hinges mm -hmm. and slow close automatic drawers. And people get an option to upgrade things like uh, pull out. So, you know, if people are tired of stooping over, bending over, trying to find pots and pans, well, now's a great time we can put in a pull out, pull all the pans right out to you. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Well, how can folks get in touch with design, uh, Strock Design and Remodel? I would just ask them to call my office. Our number is 566-0250 or on the web, strockenterprises.com. All right, terrific. Well, we've been talking with Trey Strock with Strock Design and Remodel. Thanks so much, Trey. Hey, thank you, Tim.